What's going on guys, Extreme Gamer 2 here bringing you a quick quick tutorial on how to set up Bluetooth devices on your computer. So let's say you want to hook up uh, hook up um, an iPod or an iPad or an iPhone, a phone, anything that's Bluetooth, headsets, sorry about that, my device is installing right when I'm doing the video, but um, oh my gosh, stop making that damn noise. It's going to make like three more noises, I swear, but um, yeah, basically, this is going to be the video how to do that. There's one. There's two. <laughs> so there's three. There you go. So uh, you want to head over to Start, and you want to go over to Control Panel. Go over to Network and Internet. Network and Sharing Center. Basically, your screen should look like this. Go over on the left side. It'll say Change Adapter Settings. You want to click on that. And also... So like, let's say yours was disabled. Uh, basically, it depends on what kind of computer you have. Some computers will have wireless network and some people might not have wireless. Some computers might have Bluetooth and some other computers might not. So you'll know if your computer has it or not because it'll be displayed in this little window right here. So let's say you want to enable Bluetooth. You know, you click, right click on it and you click enable. It'll say enabling and then enabled. So then it turns into a color now. You see screens and stuff. They're not gray. And then it says just basically not connected. Uh, so we want to connect a device. So first things first, you want to go over to properties. You have to have administration uh, uh, permissions to be able to do all this type of stuff that you're doing right now. So make sure you're an uh, administrator or at least have like uh, passwords or something to be able to change settings on your computer. Um, so you want to go over to the properties and it brings up this little window. You want to go over to the Bluetooth tab and go over to Bluetooth settings. So basically you just want to copy down what I have right here. Uh, for you guys, it should say, uh, there should, this check mark should be gone like that. So basically yours should look like this. Just basically check it. And, um, I think that's it. Yes. So basically just have it look like this have it on discovery so discovery should be on um, click apply and then click OK and then you want to click OK and then basically head over to your device right now and open up Bluetooth settings or Bluetooth whatever the settings you are using I have iPod so it just says Bluetooth <laughs> So basically your computer name should be on the devices, but it should say not connected or not paired, uh, basically. So let me change this real quick, say forget device, and so I can do this on my own. So, okay, it discovers your computer. My computer name is Kevin-HP. So yours should be like Windows, whatever. It should be your name-HP, whatever you named your computer when you bought it um, for the first boot up. So basically on your device, not your computer, but your device, you want to click pair. So basically it'll try to connect. And then there should be a little window that pops up down here. There it is. You want to double, you want to click on that. So it's going to say, it should say a code. Um, uh, blah, 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 finish connection to the device. And you want to click next. Configuring device, there's those little stupid noises again like four more it's gonna install the drivers and then it says device has been successfully added to this computer and you click close so then it says it's connected on your device and it should if you go over to uh, view Bluetooth network devices okay maybe not but sometimes um here let me go over to you want to head over to computer nope wrong tab again jesus i hate this all right so you want to go over to uh devices and printer sorry about that so basically this is why i just installed dumbass which is uh my ipod um so yeah i don't want to show anything on there because i'll show a bunch of things um but yeah basically the device is installed and it's connected bluetooth wise and that's basically it. Um, if you're having any like connection problems and all that other stuff, uh, you know, like just leave comments in the section 
in the comments section down below. I would be more than happy to actually help you out. Uh, it's probably something very little, like you changed a setting that wasn't supposed to be changed, or most likely what I do when I have connection issues with Bluetooth through my computer to a device or my device to a computer, uh, I restart the computer and I restart the device. So basically turn it off and then turn it back on. Uh, basically resets the connection type or whatever that uses to, con to connect and it just basically resets the connection and it connects nice and good nice and clean no problems so but anyways if you are having additional problems just leave your comments in the comment section down below leave a like on this video if you liked it and also subscribe if you haven't already and i will talk to you guys later i hope i helped you out see you guys